Yeah, sure. I guess uh, Popper, you must be really happy. I guess I heard that you had some travel issues coming out, and Steve must be really happy to be leaving with three points. Yeah, we are, we're very happy with the three points. Uh, we had some real difficulties getting here. Uh, flight was um, delayed for four or five hours the time we got on the flight. Uh, arriving 3 a.m. our time in Melbourne, the time the players got to bed, uh, probably 2, 2.30. Wouldn't have got to bed before 2.30 because I didn't. Um, so, and then we had some players that, you know, felt a bit, didn't feel great, a couple under the weather. Um, so uh, we had to take a few players off today that probably played longer than um, they really should have. But um, yeah, very happy with uh, the character shown, the resilience um, through, a, through a real difficult uh, 48 hours for us. Oh, I guess how, how challenging is that going to be given the fact that you've got to go back and then you've got to face City in a big game? on Saturday, like you, you really don't have much time to recover to face a team that's so strong in such form. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It's, uh, it will be difficult, but, you know, we've faced that. Um, recently, we went to Japan, um, played extra time, travelled 24 hours back from Japan, and 48 hours later, we played Melbourne City. It was only recent, and we had a draw and played very well. So we have another opportunity now, um, difficult circumstances, but a, a chance to... Um, show once again that um, you know we're, we're a good side. Oh, I guess up to third in the ladder. I mean, still, and you've got to get into there, but I guess as well on some of those teams around you. How else how are you feeling going into the City game? Are you still going to be the same as you were last month or something? Yeah, we look. We're, we're satisfied. We always want more. Um, you know, we want the team you know, to to put some sides away to make it a bit easier. At one nil, it's always a dangerous scoreline, but. You know, we've had two tough away wins. Um, we had four draws prior to this run uh, of wins, but um, you know, we, we've been playing well at home. Um, we've we've uh, shown real character and resilience away from home now in two matches. Uh, short turnaround. Uh, we've got another one now with the derby. You know, I'm sure our fans and members will be extremely excited for the game coming up on Saturday. And um, you know, we want to you know we want to hear the noise and we want them to support us. Uh, as loud as they can to, to help us um, get the get the win we want against Melbourne City. And just finally for me, how important do you think that goal will be for Francesco? It's, it's been a while for him since he hit the back of the net. It's obviously what strikers want to do. Um, he must be yeah. pretty happy to see him score. Yeah, very happy. Very happy for him. Um, you know, you've been around the club for a long time. Um, you know, you've been around the club for a long time. You know, you've been around the club for a long time. You know, you've been around the club for a long time. You know, you've been around the club for a long time. You know, you've been around the club for a long time. You know, you've been around the club for a long time. You know, you've been around the club for a long time. His link-up play was very good. He, he had a wonderful free kick that hit the hit the post, uh, and then he got got the goal. So um, I'm sure that'll lift his confidence even further. And um, you know, he's a, he's always been a good footballer. And you know, strikers when they score usually gain even more confidence. So we're we're hoping to see that from Francesco uh, moving forward. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. Okay, Ash. Any questions? Um, just with Victory's performance, I guess, in the first half, they struggled, I guess, to break through. What was it that changed in the second to get that result? Oh, look, we, we played a team that, um, you know, they, they put a lot of work and, and effort into defending very well as a team. They defended very deep. Uh, it's not easy to break down. Um, you know, we had, they were dangerous a couple of times on the counter-attack, so we had to be aware of that. Uh, look, we, we, we didn't have um, the luck with the post a couple of times uh, with the opportunities we had, but you know we, we kept persevering. We knew uh, we had to uh, defend the transition moments very well, and, and that we would get some chances in the second half. And if and we believe we will capitalise, and you know, and uh, in the end, uh, Francesco scored a very good goal. And with Chris, I guess he's probably the next one who's. Yeah in a bit of a goal drought at the moment. Is there anything specifically that you're working with him on just being able to break through, or is he taking that game by game? I think we're, we're taking a game by game with Chris. I think he's uh, he had such a long layoff uh, with a knee injury, and he's still searching um, for his form. Uh, his work rate is he's there, it's clear, but uh, players need games to get their rhythm. And, you know, he just played 
in Adelaide he started. He started again a few days later. Um, so that, that will help him to get that match fitness that he needs. And he's a quality player and um, you know, I'm sure the, the assists and goals will come. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Anything else, Nick? Any questions? I'll take that as a no, Nick, yeah? No, sorry. I was having trouble on muting. Have you got me there? Yes, we have, yeah. Okay, mate, just a quick one, Tony. Um, mate, everybody wants to win. You win any way you can, obviously. But uh, do you have a bit of sympathy, perhaps, for what Glory are going through at the moment and the coach is going through? Players that got injured and the kids that they're using, and what do you think of those kids? Yeah, it's a you know it's it's a a period. Every club has different periods of um, of, of where the moments are not quite good, and um, you know Perth's having one at the moment. Uh, obviously, with a lot of injuries, and um, young boys are getting an opportunity, and uh, you always hope that uh, some of those young boys take those opportunities and uh, end up having a good career.